Hey folks, happy you welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'm going to work at the Suzuki GSX 600F from 2006, the last edition year of the second generation. I'm gonna work on the carburetors because the engine runs rough in a lower RPM range and after startup it's really struggling for a while as long as it's not uh, uh, gonna warm up. So I'm gonna check at the cold start uh, which cylinder are not running. It's really easy, but a little bit uh, dangerous. So for the four headers, when I'm gonna start up, I'm gonna touch them which one is warming and which one is not. If you do it at the really beginning, when the pipes are cold, so it's not gonna get too hot to, to check it on. So you can feel which one is warming, which one isn't. And then I'm gonna give her a proper warm up and then undress her hook up the device and then I'm gonna sing the carbs because I think that's also necessary. So let's get the job start. So the engine is cold. Uh, I'm gonna try with a choke. Oh, I have to go with that. Okay, now I need a little bit of choke. Now actually R4 uh, seems to be running properly, which is a good news, so the problem maybe just was for the cold engine, but now uh, we're gonna warm her up. I'm gonna take her out for a spin just in case, because that's better and for sure entirely the complete system gonna warm up. So, let's go. Now the engine has been warmed up and now I did uh, connect everything. Now we get a fuel source to the bike to running hooked up the devices in this model already they moved from the top of the carburetor to the lower side of the carburetor so it gave a little bit of struggle to hook up the device but it still was doable and now i'm gonna start up i'm gonna check on the monitor how things are running and with these screws i'm gonna adjust the carburetors to each other to, to get them in balance and get a smooth uh, nice operating uh, RPM out of it. So let's get this, the project started. Well, actually, this is how the bike's running at this moment. So it's really weird because it's almost balanced. Uh, but I'm still gonna try to make the best out of it. So now they did not need too much adjustments. As you can see, the background is green, so this is just running together. So yeah, it wasn't too bad, but uh, still noticeable change of her sound, so definitely got the better. So now I'm just gonna put back everything together, gonna take her out for a spin again and see what's going on. If it didn't get really better, then probably gonna do some further investigation, maybe some other adjustments gonna need, maybe with the needles or with the idle mixture, and then gonna go with that. So put her back together well actually i was thinking if i'm here already so i just gonna add uh, like a half turn on the the fuel mixture screw now it has been really close to this point so it's may gonna solve the issue then we're not gonna have more problem with that so i just gonna you know, give a half turn and then put back everything together definitely improvement the bike feels much smoother in the lower rpm already i'm really happy with the result much easier to coming out from the corners and don't have to shift like that early and even the downshifting is feels way better now so yeah it's definitely good news i'm happy with it so now i'm gonna put her uh, in use gonna get some kilometer and then when it's gonna be a good weather i'm gonna paint the front fork and um, I was just thinking she needs uh, an oil change as well. So when the uh, fork gonna be 
complete after we're gonna change the oil as well so that's it for the episode guys thank you for watching if you like it see you in the next one bye bye